Lodgepole pines pay the best when you're selling logs, but what about whenever you're using these auto load containers right here? I've got four different six meter auto load containers right here. We've got a bunch of logs already cut up into six meters. I've got some lodgepole pines. I've got a bunch of uh, ponderosa pines right here. I've got spruce down over there. And I've even got some elm. Now I know these are not all six meters. Like this one right here fortunately is, but this one's 6.3, this one's 5.5, and, and this one's 5.9. So I'm gonna do my best to fill up these containers um, as close to 100% as I can. And then I'm gonna take them over to the sell point, sell them off one at a time and see if we get a difference in the price. So the size of the log does not matter. We've already proven that in a different video. So I'm just gonna grab the first ones that I see here and just fill this thing up as full as I can up until you know it, it gets to uh, pretty close to like 21,000 liters. Cause I know that that's, um, that's getting right there with the limit of these six meter ones. So I'm trying to grab some of the bigger logs first and then we're gonna switch over to some of the smaller logs just to kind of finish up the top portion here. Now these were all these trees were taken from fully grown trees that I had been using for other tests as well. And, um, you know, they were all harvested here right at the exact same time using the harvester. I got down as far as I could, but that really doesn't matter. Like I said, because the size, the diameter of the log doesn't really matter here. It's only about the, the volume. So that looks pretty good right there. We're at 19.5. Let's throw this one here in there as well. What's that going to give us? 27.23. I feel like that's pretty good for this one right here. Let's go ahead and move over here to the ponderosa pines now now i'm going to do this once again without any cuts in this um i might get to a point where i do a little bit of music here i'm not quite sure and we are banging that thing all around um i just want you guys to see once again that i am not doing any tricky business here with this now i do have super strength on i am testing this on the pc um just to be able to make this a little bit easier so that i can control the amount of logs going in here and uh, then we're just going to carry these over to the sell point and uh, get get rid of them that way so i'm going to try and grab some more of these big logs right here um, a couple of you guys have said that the little bit longer videos um, you you kind of tend to like those a little bit better so we might start doing some more of these testing videos in a longer style format here um, just so you guys can see that there's no edits no you know no funny business happening at all i totally get it um i'm just trying to uh Keep it as short as it is, uh, you know, as I can, as it's needed. Um, that's a very important thing to me, just keeping it simple, keeping it as short as needed. But I think in this instance right here, so you guys can see exactly what is going on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep them a little bit longer. And you can see we have not had any issues with the um, uh, any messages showing up saying that we put uh, too short or too long of a log in there. All right, so 20776. I feel like that's what we had on the other one too. I'm going to go down here and uh, hit spruce next. Then we're kind of going to come back and hit the elm. Those elms, we are going to get messages on those um, for sure that those are um, too long or too short. I have a feeling. So we're going to make those last. And uh, like I said, these are the spruce. These trees have the biggest diameter uh, at the bottom out of all of these, but they taper down very, very quickly. You can see there's some very small logs in here. So I'm going to try and grab these big ones at the start here, and then uh, we will transition over to uh, some medium-sized logs. I didn't know exactly how many it was going to take here, so I cut down like five or six trees depending on the species. And uh, I'm not going to do any testing on the pines that you see back there behind, um, or I'm not going to do any testing on the um, oak. I don't feel like oak is going to be very good either on this. Um, I believe that if there is a price difference, it's all based on like, um, you know, the original value of the tree, but I've got a suspicion here that we actually aren't going to see a difference at all. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Hopefully, hopefully I am. All right. 18 here. Let's go ahead and grab this big guy right here. Throw that log around. So what's this going to get us? Uh, 19397. Let's go ahead and grab this one. I want to get closer to that 20. 20365. I feel like that's good here. All right, now let's go take care of these elms. Now, I, I don't know exactly how much um, is going to go in here. I may have to go get some more pieces. I've got a few smaller pieces back there behind 
Uh, I don't know what they're going to do, but this is the highest volume uh, tree. And you can see we're at 25. Um, okay. So I, 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 we might have to go get some more trees. Or I could just do this and uh, just do it. I'm, I'm going to average this, not average it, but I'm going to calculate this by the uh, leader anyway. So, I mean, those went in there pretty good. Um, I guess this one here is going to be the next... Oh, I was trying to do it a shady, not a shady way, but kind of a little bit of a trick way there. All right, so that one, I definitely saw the message on that. I don't remember seeing the message on the other one. So, I mean, maybe they don't have to be exactly right. I mean, that's, that's interesting. Maybe you don't need a harvester to be able to use this. That might be a topic for another video. Yeah. All right, so are we at least 10? Okay, we're 12 or... 79 i don't have any other that have already got cut up um quickly so we're just going to call it that okay i know the price on this is probably going to be lower but whenever we average it out um per the leader then it's going to be okay so let me get these over there to the um sell point now we're going to go ahead and start with the orange one right here this was the lodgepole pine once again twenty thousand seven hundred and twenty three liters in here I'm just going to go ahead and take this straight over and uh, drop it here in the sell point and let's see how much we make 82,427. Next is the yellow here, the Ponderosa, 20,776 liters. Let's go ahead and take this one over as well. All right, 82,631. Hmm, seems like we already know our answer just off that right there. Next is green spruce. 20,365. Let's go ahead and take it over here. And 54,900. That's a little bit different. And then we're going to go ahead and go with the uh, Elm right here. 12,479. Yeah, I thought I knew what was going on with that, but apparently not. 31,300. Now that we have the amount sold, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3850 off of each one of those because that's how much this container costs right here. And we get reimbursed for that. So I don't want to include that price in the value of the wood. So something kind of interesting happened there that I wasn't expecting. And that was the price of the spruce. So let me go ahead and show you this chart here. As you can see, I've got the lodgepole, the ponderosas, the spruce, and the elm lined across. We've got how much the containers sold for. We also have the deduction of that container cost. And then we have the amount left after that deduction. So we got 78,577 for the lodgepole. For the ponderosas, we have 78,781. Very, very close. The spruce, we have 51,050, which is drastically lower than the other two. And then the elm, we have 27,450. I was expecting that because the container was just barely over half full. Now what I'm going to do is take the amount of revenue that we had left and then divide that by the number of liters in that container. So for lodgepole pine, it comes out to 3.792. That's how much we got for each liter inside that container. For the Ponderosas, 3.792. So both of those are exactly the same. What really shocked me here was the spruce coming in at 2.507. That is a horrible price to put these trees into a container. Now, I know they didn't sell very well, but there's got to be something going on here. And I don't understand whenever you sell a log by itself, your lodgepole is going to be valued more than your Ponderosa, but in the container, they're exactly the same, but spruce here, man, this thing, it just took a nosedive. Now the Elm, that's kind of what I expected. Also 2.120. So I guess don't put Elm or spruce in here. Like don't put anything in these containers except for your lodgepole and your Ponderosa pines. Well, that's going to be everything that you could do with trees here in the platinum expansion for Farming Simulator 22. If you enjoyed this video or the entire series, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. Go stay up to date on all my future in-depth review videos that we take a look at things here in Farming Simulator. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go ahead and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.